what's going on YouTube? It's the Alyssa Morrison back at it. Uh, today, I have a really exciting video. I have my drugstore full face of makeup routine for fall. I am obsessed with all of the products that I talk about and everything you can find at your local drugstore. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to join the family and I will... Let's... I was gonna say I'll see you guys next time but this is the intro so uh, I'll see you guys in like five seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using this palette just as my mirror here because I don't have a mirror behind me. I don't usually wear a full coverage foundation or even uh, any sort of base. I usually just go in with my favorite concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I believe this is like the second lightest shade. And I'm just going to put this on blemishes that I have and under my eyes as well. I also like to put it around my nose because I get a lot of discoloration there. And then just a little bit under my eyes. And then I just like to blend this out with my fingers just to warm up the product. And then I just like to take a little bit more of that on my finger and I like to use it as an eyeshadow base for my eyes. I have really veiny eyelids so I just like to color correct that with a little bit of concealer and I feel like it helps my eyeshadow last a little bit longer as well. Moving into bronzer, this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is definitely my favorite drugstore bronzer by far. It smells like coconuts. It smells like suntan lotion and coconuts. But it just gives a really pretty natural glow. And I'm just going to be warming up my whole face with this with just like a really big fluffy brush from ELF. the hairline I like to take my bronzer like all over my face and down my neck as well be sure to bring your bronzer to your ears as well you don't want there to be like a harsh line between where your makeup ends and like your ears. You just want it to look natural. <laughs> so moving on to brows, I'm just going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows up and I do tint my eyebrows. I have a video on that. Um, you can go ahead and check that out on my channel if you haven't seen that already. So I just like to Fill in just the tiniest bit. I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes Palette. And this brush by Morphe. It's the M165 brush. I'm just taking this uh, sort of cooler tone dark color right here. And I'm just getting a little bit of that on my brush. And I'm just going to be filling in really lightly underneath my brow and kind of creating like a more distinct line and then just kind of feathering that through the front. And then I'm just going to brush those hairs up again. All right, now I'm going in with the e.l.f. blending brush. And 
I am going to be taking this color right here. It's like a cool toned lighter brown. And I'm just going to put that all over both of my lids. And then I'm going to be taking this sort of champagne shimmery color right here and a denser brush. This is the, um, actually there's no name on this brush, but I'm just going to be pat like packing this part in really lightly on the front half of my eye. So like from the corner of my eye to the middle of my eye. And then I'm going back in with this fluffy blending brush and taking this sort of tan whitish color and putting that on the middle. So sort of like using it as a transition color to blend the two. So it's a little bit lighter in the center of the eye. And then I'm going to be taking, this is a MAC 224 I believe like this really fluffy brush with no color on it and just blending that all out I'm taking it under the eye a little bit as well we're just going for supernatural nothing too dramatic and then I'm going to be taking this really light shimmery color just on my finger and applying it under the brow bone. Then we are gonna go ahead and curl the lashes. And I've actually been switching up my mascara lately. I've been using the Maybelline's <laughs> Mabel <sighs> the Maybelline Falsies mascara. Okay, and if you're anything like me and uh, not the best at applying makeup, I have uh, mascara on my eyelid where I've already done my eyeshadow. So instead of like rubbing it or getting uh, like a wet Q-tip and just uh, you know ruining that eyeshadow underneath I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for it to dry and then take my little spoolie and just run over the mascara and it will flake right off it's super easy it doesn't hurt or anything next I'm going to be taking the elf primer infused blush in the color in the color always cheeky looks like this just like a really pretty pale pink kind of reminds me of like a NARS sex appeal blush minus the shimmer and just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and upwards even though this is a really light pink blush i really like this for the fall time because it gives the most natural looking flush um like even um uh, i know my face gets really red when i'm cold i don't know if that's i don't know if that happens to everyone but um it almost looks like that kind of uh like chili you just get that natural flush i really like it i also bring it to my nose and a little bit of my forehead I go ahead and use Aquaphor on my lips. I keep it super simple. And then I also use Aquaphor as my highlight. So I go ahead and I take a little bit and I rub it between my fingers just to warm up the product. And then I just apply it on the uh, high points of my cheekbones. Just to get like a really... Do you need to go potty? One moment. Okay, so I just go ahead and apply the Aquaphor to the high points of my cheeks, um, up the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit on my cupid's bow. And it just gives a really, really natural glow. All right, 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the little flakes off. So I'm just going like this. Ta-da! So that is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and see if there is better lighting somewhere, maybe up here. Okay, so here is the finished look. Super natural, pretty glowy eyes, and then just flushed cheeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me and subscribe to join the fam. I'll see you next time.